Coming up, today we're fitting our roof light fan and getting started on the van build. We finally have some good weather in the Peak District so we're getting stuck in cutting holes in Big Merlin. Does it go to plan and can we get it done before dark? Let's find out. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and to episode two of our van build series. So we've finally got some decent weather here in the Peak District. Which means we can finally start cutting holes in the van. So it's finally sunglasses weather here in the UK, uh, which is, there's no better weather to start work on the van. We've been waiting for a while. We've had fairly bad weather in the Peak District over the past uh, few weeks. So today the job is we're gonna cut a hole in the roof of the van. Um, we've picked out the uh, the Max Fan Deluxe, which is probably one of the better fans that you can get for a van, and we've only heard good reviews. Uh, they're fantastic for both blowing air in and also sucking air out. And that's gonna go basically right in the center of the roof. So that is the job for today. So one of the first jobs that we're going to do is scrub down this frame. Uh, apparently when they come off the production line they're left with a release film and that can cause leaks. And so we're going to give it a scrub down with some soapy warm water and then move on to the next job. Okay, so what we've done is um, I've taken the template, which is the 400 by 400 template. That's the size of the hole that the fan is gonna sit within. Uh, and we've set it on the underside of the van ceiling. We've made sure that we've got plenty of room all the way around it because we're actually, uh, because we're actually gonna stick a wooden frame around it as well, just for a little bit of support. I put three holes in the template that I'm gonna drill some pilot holes through now. And then when we go on top of the van, we'll see where those three holes are. We can line this template back up with it, which should mean uh, we get the same square on top as what we've got below. Right, safety goggles on. There's no going back. <laughs> see daylight. That's fixable, if it goes wrong. It's the next bit I'm worried about. Okay, so what I've done on the roof is I've uh, measured a thousand times uh, the 400 by 400 square. I used the template purely as a guide only. And then I also got um, my ruler out and the tape measure out just to make sure that the square that I have drawn is 400 by 400. Um, I've taped off the perimeter around uh, where I'm gonna cut and that's just gonna protect um, the top of the van from uh, the jigsaw when it's gliding around it. But um, otherwise, <laughs> it's, uh, it's time to go into the danger zone because we're now gonna cut the hole out of the top of the van. But first we're going to stick a bin liner up to catch the metal filings because if we don't do that then the, me the metal filings can cause the van to rust. So that's the job first before we start cutting. Start. Take two. So here you can see I've used a step up bit attachment to make the drill holes a little wider and that way we can fit our jigsaw blade in. 
I need to trust this. Yeah. For this bit, I'm just adding some extra support to the van roof with tape. It does vibrate and flap around a little bit without it. It should also secure the square in place once it's fully cut out. Hey up. Yeah. Cutting holes. That's it. Okay, well, I've definitely got some burn from up there. Um, uh, one lesson for you guys to learn that uh, we definitely failed on is make sure you, that you secure your bin liner. Uh, with half decent tape because we just put ours up with masking tape and as soon as the roof fell through uh, the tape gave way and all the mess has gone on the floor now luckily with our van we've already got the wooden floor down so any filings that have landed on the floor have not landed onto metal uh, so shouldn't pose uh, much of a rust risk uh, we're still going to obviously hoover it up now anyway. Same for on the roof, uh, we need to make sure that every single tiny filing is hoovered up um, because if it's not, uh, that can also rust on, on little patches of your van, so that's the next job. Cutting out the squares generated some sharp edges, so what we're going to do is we're going to file it up and smooth it off and then paint it so it doesn't rust. <laughs> okay, so next up we need to paint these metal edges because um, if you don't paint them they will rust um, we've got some grey anti-rust paint it's what we've used uh, to do on the rest of the van as well um, no one's going to see this bit so it doesn't have to match if you've got white then or whatever the colour your van is then cool you could do that um, but we're just going to cover these uh, fresh cuts with paint and then they won't rust okay uh, pretty chuffed with that um, pretty chuffed with the, the hole and the amount of light that's now coming into the van um, we opted for the, the clear top um, Max van, so it will, not only will it be a fan uh, that's functional, but it will also act as a bit of a skylight for the van as well. Um, so uh, next steps are we need to make a little bit of a wooden frame that's going to sit just underneath uh, the cuts that we've made. Um, so I'm going to put that frame together now whilst the paint is drying on the edges. Okay, uh, I ended up doing that off camera in the end because it was um, a bit of a pain to do. <laughs> Somehow uh, it was one of the hardest things we've done all day. Um, but I now have a frame. Uh, this is just like a, a little wooden frame. There's uh, some bits of wood that I picked up from B&Q. Um, and it's just going to supply some, uh, a little bit of support and then just some bite really for um, the two halves of the fan. So it can sandwich it together and it's going to sit around the opening that we've made. Um, so next up, I'm going to now um, adhere that to the top of the roof, uh, make sure that it all fits nicely. Uh, and then we can start to actually start to put the fan on top and, and drill down into it. So that's what we're going to do next. <laughs> Before we go any further with this, I just need to make sure that all of our edges um, and the area around them are completely clean. Um, so uh, we've picked up some isopropyl uh, alcohol, which is like a cleaning solution. I'm just going to go around the edges um, just to make sure that it's fully clean uh, because the next step after that is we're going to stick down something called mastic strip um, and that needs to adhere to the metal as best it can. So um, that's what I'm going to do now. Actually, lit yes. like, the, like the kids. 
Um, <clears throat> so we've got some Gorilla Glue, which is like a grab adhesive. It's, it's probably almost too strong for the job, but it should do it quite nicely. I'm gonna stick this all the way around the hole um, so this frame can stick to the metal, and then we'll go from there. Right, so what we've done now is uh, we've made the frame and then put some of the Gorilla Glue around the edges of it and now it's currently <laughs> uh, in the hole and uh, tied down with the grip, what are they, quick grips. Through the roof. So uh, as you can see we're now fully clamped up so the frame is now being clamped um, to the metal and we're just going to sort of let that dry now. <sighs> well. Um, it's taken a little bit longer than we thought it was going to take. Um, we are now quite quickly losing the light. Uh, we've been at it about four or five hours or so. If you guys are going to tackle this job, we'd recommend at least having a full day at it, um, unlike us. Uh, but yeah, the sun is definitely going down. Yeah, with that being said, we've got a big studio light that we can use. So um, hopefully that will give us some extra light that we can use and yeah. finish it by the end of tonight. <laughs> We'll continue into the night and make sure we get this done. <laughs> Two hours later. Okay, um, so we've had a bit of a break. I uh, had a cheeky pizza on top of the van, uh, which I've never done before. Um, the next job is to um, put on something called mastic sealing strip. Um, this is something that goes around the perimeter of the hole um, that we've put in the top of the van. It's gonna put a nice level surface all the way around the hole that's gonna allow us to sit um, the fan frame on top of the van. It's also a bit of like a putty substance, so uh, it's also a little bit waterproof as well. Um, so that is the next step, and I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, 100% uh, done with the mastic strip. Uh, it's worth noting that we ended up getting um, the wide mastic strip, which is not needed um, for the fan that we've got. Um, so I've got more than I need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna place um, the plastic housing on the top that's gonna hold the fan, uh, and then I'll sort of trim around the edge just to cut off any excess. But as you can see by uh, the shots of the mastic strips. The only job is is just to try and create a kind of level surface all the way around. I don't think it has to be absolutely perfect because uh, we are going to be putting screws through uh, which is going to help pin it all down flat anyway. Um, but for the saying I've only done it once and that's the first time I've ever done it. Um, pretty chuffed with the job. You look like a mad scientist. I'm but like yeah. a mad scientist. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got all the mastic strip on, we've got a nice flat surface to work on. Um, we need uh, an adhesive, uh, and this is gonna stick the, the fan frame onto the mastic strip. The mastic strip putty is kind of tacky and sticky, but in no way is it like a proper adhesive. Um, so we're going with Sikaflex 522. Um, this is what's supposed to be pretty good for caravans and van conversions and things like that. It's gonna go straight onto the mastic strip all the way around, and then we're gonna offer up the frame and stick it on, and hopefully, then all we need to do is screw it in, and it's in. Thank you. 
Okay, the uh, the camera battery died a little bit there, um, but I managed to get all the screws in now, all the way around. Um, I've checked, and I'm pretty happy that they're all sort of like an even pressure. Um, I've trimmed up the excess of the mastic strip as well, so it's a lot uh, nicer and neater. And now all we need to do is stick the Sikaflex basically over all of it. Um, now I've seen online you can do this really quite neatly and I've seen people do it quite uh, sort of liberally, shall we say. I am going to take the latter um, approach. Don't really care what it looks like up here, no one's ever going to see it. All I care about is that it's watertight. So I'm basically going to cover all the edges, I'm going to cover um, all of the screws as well so they don't rust. Uh, and then hopefully, then it should quite literally hold water. Before you get the Sikaflex out and ultimately get everything a little messy, it might be worth fitting the fan first like we did, as this could get a little tricky and sticky when trying to screw it in place. Right, so uh, last step, um, we're going to stick the Sikaflex on all the way around, like I just said. A um, little top tip for you uh, that I saw someone else do online. This stuff can be kind of hard to come out. Um, if you just leave it into some sort of warm water in a bowl or whatever, or maybe just on like a, on some heating, on like a radiator or something, it just warms it up inside and it should come out a little better because I want a really nice liberal application of this all the way around. Um, so hopefully it'll come out nice and easy. So for this last step, I'm just running along the edges with a silicone tool that just smooths everything off a little bit and makes the surface even. You don't need to do this step, but ultimately I did anyway. Okay, so it's been about a week since we installed uh, the Max Fan roof light and we're happy to announce we've had no leaks whatsoever. We've had some proper peak district weather. We've had wind, rain, snow, hail. <laughs> um, I've even driven the van because it needed an MOT, which it passed, um, driven in the rain. And uh, we're happy to report it's completely bone dry on the inside. So this video is different to our usual videos, but we'll be making a playlist for the van life videos so they're all in one place. So if you guys are doing your own van build and you are interested, uh, we've left links in the description below to all the kit and tools uh, that we've used to help install this roof skylight. Um, some of these links are affiliate links uh, to Amazon, which means that no extra cost to yourself. If you do use those links, we get a tiny little cut from Amazon and it helps support the channel. So if you enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you like the look of our faces and you're excited to see more van conversion videos on the channel, hit that subscribe button too, and that way it will guarantee that you catch us in the next one. So hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.